Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So we're working on the BMW 7 Series today and if you guys saw my previous video, you'll know that we had an issue with a rear brake caliper sticking. So I believe the piston is completely seized. So I kind of had a couple of options really. I could have just completely replaced the brake caliper either with you know a used or a, a new brake caliper or I could have you know repaired it or uh, rebuilt it. Now I've actually gone down the route of um, rebuilding the caliper and I'm going to re you know rebuild both of the rears there's no point in my opinion you know doing things singly you're best off doing things in pairs because if one has failed more than likely later on down the line the other one is going to fail as well so yeah the plan today is just to rebuild both of the rear brake calipers so without further ado let's get outside and let's get cracking okay then so car is up in the air and this is where we was at last time so I did remove the caliper, but I put it back on just so that um, you know I could get the car on the ground and whatever. But just to remove the caliper, you just need to remove this clip here at the front and then pop the caps off of the boots here, which contain the slide bolts. One at the top, one at the bottom. Let's remove these slide bolts. There we are then can remove these completely now the next thing we need to do is pump the brake pedal and get this piston out as far as possible but without it actually falling out because it's going to make a mess if we do so I'm going to try and edge this out ever so slightly and, uh, and then remove the caliper from the uh, brake hose itself then I have no idea if that even moved or not. No, I don't think that even moved, did it? So then to remove the caliper from the brake hose, it is a 40 millimeter spanner. I've already loosened it. Let me just wind this off. And just to stop the brake hose dripping fluid, I'm just gonna put one of these caps over. There we go. And now I can start going to town and stripping this old caliper down. So we'll uh, remove the bleeder screw. Can remove the slide pin rubber boots. There's them removed. Now I don't know the best plan of action to get this piston out because it's pretty stuck then I'm just gonna start cutting the seal yep just look at how rusted it is just to give it some chance Finally. Whew. It's the piston removed. You could possibly, possibly clean this up and reuse it, but for the price of a new piston, it's really not worth it. All right, I guess we're just gonna completely clean this up now. I'm just gonna give the outside a good wire brush Make sure I have removed the seal. There's a seal on the inside as well, so you need to make sure to remove that and obviously replace it with a new one. And uh, yeah, once all that's uh, done, once this is all cleaned up, I can start installing the new kit. And there we go then. That's the caliper nice and clean. You could go a lot further with it you know you could sandblast this you could get it looking perfect but yeah I'm relatively happy with it obviously the main thing is you want to make sure there's no debris 
in the actual bore, you know, where the um, where the piston goes. But uh, yeah, that's nice and clean. I've you know gave it a good wipe out. I've sprayed it with some brake cleaner, and I've you know used the compressed air to get any last bits out. Now let's start installing the new kit. Okay, so this is what is included in the kit then. So obviously we have our nice new shiny piston. We have two seals, one external, one internal. We have the rubber boots for the slide bolts with caps and a fresh new bleeder screw. And then we also have some grease as well. And I actually have a you know a big part of the red rubber grease anyway. So if this isn't enough, then we can always use that. But yeah, it looks like a decent amount in here. First thing I'm gonna do then is install the internal seal. We'll just use some grease on it. And this is red in color. Make sure it's completely covered. Yeah, I'm going to slot this in. Just work it around. That's nice and easy, that one. As you can see, nicely seated into position. Now, this one is definitely a lot more difficult. So, inside of here, well, around the perimeter you could say this kind of like a I don't know if it's steel or aluminium or what but this is what it was like on the old one this is kind of to retain it to the outside of the caliper itself so this obviously has to sit on there like so but there's a couple of ways that you can go about installing this I find the easiest way is to actually install the piston inside of it and before I do that I'm going to smother this in grease of course just to help it go in a little bit easier and I'm just going to slide this into the seal And just slide it up till it gets to the top like so. And put some more grease on here. Can't have too much grease. And now we can install this into the caliper itself. Just push it in. Okay, so once it's in, just keep pushing it back and forth. It should slide in. And now, final thing we need to do is seat this seal around the edge of the bore. Now this is the hardest part because it's, you know, it's got to be very tight on here. So it's, um, yeah, it's definitely the most difficult task. So. You can either do the top first and then do the bottom or you can do the sides, whichever way you want to go about it. I'm going to try and get the bottom on first because you can't really see too well. But um, yeah, you'll kind of feel a pop when it sits into position. And uh, yeah, you just got to be a bit patient because it will uh, keep popping off as you pop one, one side on. So there we go then. That's the new seal fully on. Now to seat it in position you can use a screwdriver and that's what I like to use but you need to be very careful not to push on the actual rubber part because obviously you can end up tearing it. You need to only make sure you're pushing right on the edge. Like I said just be patient don't rush it. I find it's easier to do the bottom first and then work your way round to the top here. But yeah that is the uh, hard part done now all we need to do is install the sleeves for the um, slide bolts and then yeah install a new bleeder screw and this can go back on the car okay so both of the rubber boots for the slide bolts are now in place found it's easier if you push them from this side so from the inside and then you know push it through as much as you can by hand and then if you use and then if you use a screwdriver again just to push the rest through make sure you use plenty of grease again as well just to give you some chance of getting them through but now what's left to do 
is install the bleeder screw. There we are. Nice, looking good. Let's get this reinstalled back on the car then. Let's tighten this down. Reinstall the brake pads. Now when it comes to installing the slider bolts, as you can see I've given them a good clean up, but BMW actually recommends you to install these dry, but I still like to put some red rubber grease on. I really don't see how it can hurt. Just helps, you know, keep things, uh, just helps to keep things moving nicely. So yeah, make up your own mind if you want to use grease or not. Okay, I'll slot these in. Yeah, let's get the caliper back onto the caliper bracket. And now install our new caps. And then just reinstall the securing clip at the front. And so with this side now done, it's time to go around to the other side and start tackling this one as well. So I've just removed this side and I'm not going to show you the entire process again but this is exactly why you do things in pairs. Look at the state of that piston. It's only a matter of time before this was fully seized. And there we are then, another caliper refurbished just the same. Let's get this back on the car. And there we go then, that is both rear calipers now fully refurbished and back on the car. Um, for those of you that are wondering, if you saw the previous video where the ground strap just basically snapped in my hands, I've actually replaced it. I've upgraded it for a bit of a more beefier one. Oh, that's a lot thicker. So yeah, should do the job just the same. Okay then, so that is both of the rear brake calipers now refurbished on the BMW 7 Series. And I'm actually going to be replacing the discs and the pads. I'll probably do that in a separate video because I've got the like pretty much the entire rear brake setup to overhaul. You know, whenever you have a stuck or a seized brake caliper, there's a good chance that your discs are going to be warped. Now, I'm not even going to bother checking to see if they are or not. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, get the discs and the pads swapped out. Um, but yeah, I hope this video has been helpful and I hope it's been, you know, easy enough to follow along. Please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next one. Peace!